Hello there! I seem to have five minutes spare, so I thought I would do a quick update vlog about how everything's been going. Um, I also just posted a YouTube video, uh, Alanis Morissette cover, which I haven't even watched the whole way through myself, which is probably a good thing. Um, so yeah, as some of you might know, uh, I had a baby. Um, what is it now? Seven weeks ago? Something like that. Yeah, and boy is he growing very, very quickly. I mean, everybody tells you, oh, babies grow really quickly, you should cherish it. But I didn't think it would be like, you put the baby down to sleep, and then when you next revisit him, he physically looks like he's just grown a few inches. I mean, literally. And you're like, whoa, man, what are they feeding you? And you're like, ah, I'm feeding you, yeah. So, yeah, everything's been going really well, I think. Uh, I'm really happy and now he's sort of settling down more into routine and we're learning how to understand his different cries and his ways of communication so that's good. Um, for the first month I was so blessed I had my mum and dad here to look after me and Axel. Um, yeah they flew in from England and they were impatiently waiting for the baby to be born they were like come on come on um, the baby came, I think, two days after after the due date, even though my labour actually started on on my due date. So the labour was about 30 hours. Um, but, you know, it, it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't too bad. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just because time has gone by, or maybe that's nature's way of making you forget just how damn awful it was, so that you maybe hopefully have another one and go and produce loads more seeds, I don't know, more babies. Um, but yeah, it was an amazing, amazing experience. And I think I'll do another vlog on certain aspects of it. But yeah, so everything's going really well. Uh, at the moment, I'm just staying at home full time, looking after Axel and really, like, really loving it. I, I didn't see myself as a real maternal person. You know, I'm not, I wasn't one of those people who was always like, oh, it's so cute, oh, it's so cute, oh, look at the little cutie things. I was never like that. I mean, I love kids, but I was never like that. So I thought, oh, I'm not really going to be one of those natural mothers. But weirdly, I think it, it does feel really natural. And yeah, I just adore Axel to bits. I just can't stop kissing his face. I know that's probably, hopefully normal, but... You know, the frequency is just like, uh, all the time, all the time. So, yeah, everything's good. And the the services in Taiwan were amazing, even though I didn't understand anything the nurses were saying all throughout my labor. And I felt reassured initially because our doctor can speak fluent English. But I didn't realize I wasn't going to see the doctor until literally the last five minutes when he came in to catch the baby. So all up until that point, you know, um, I had no idea really much of what was going on. I was just like, okay, okay, uh, I don't understand you. Could you say that again? Uh, you know, <laughs> but they were really nice and amazing. And it sort of made me have a newfound, huge respect for midwives as they often don't get the kind of, you know, love and adoration they deserve. Usually it's the doctors who take center stage, but now I see midwives do a hell of a lot uh, for women in labor. So that's really good. Anyway, I'm going to post other videos talking about certain things. So if you have any questions, let me know. I was going to update on lots of things, but I realized that my brains turned to mush and I don't know exactly what to say. So, um, yeah, just posting a video to say, we're still alive, we're doing good, and I'll see you soon. Mm.